Town where the Yellow Jackets hosted Tyler Consolidated in the sectional final. Wyatt Powell hits a grounder up the middle that gets through to the outfield. Wyatt Siley scores. Jenner Burge is rounding third and he will score as well. That's a two-run single for Powell as the Jackets lead it 2 nothing. In the bottom of the third, Carson Hill with a blooper to left center. The ball hangs in the air. The Silver Knights won't get to it, and it will get down for a hit. Carson Haynes coming around third. He'll reach home safely. Hill with an RBI single to extend the lead to 3-0. Later in the inning, Burge at the plate. Silver Knights try for a pickoff attempt at third base, but the ball goes off Tyler Farrell's glove and gets away. Parker Schramm gets up and makes his way towards home plate. He'll score standing up to make it 4 0 Williamstown. A few at bats later, Cooper Martin hits a line drive into center for a base hit. Carson Hill scores. Here comes Wyatt Siley racing towards home, and he'll also score. Yellow Jackets have blown this game open at 6 0. Moving to the fourth inning, the bats stay hot as Hill drives this ball deep to left center. That gets to the wall. That will bring home Carson Haynes and Parker Schramm. Williamstown with a dominant 10 0 shutout win to take home the sectional title. In more postseason action, the 15-seeded Waterford Wildcats hosted 18-seeded Scioteville East in the sectional semi semifinal. The Cats finished the regular season on a four-game losing streak, so they were looking to find a rhythm. They run away with a shutout victory of their own, winning it 14-0 over the Tartans. Waterford will take on the number two seed White Oak in the sectional final on Tuesday.